Welcome back, my dear friends, to another tarot reading. And today's reading, we are going to be taking a look at your person, the person that is on your mind, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, you know, what you can expect, and really any messages that are coming through for you guys to just get some clarity about your situation. There is a lot of craziness going on. I am not going to lie. <laughs> but I do promise, if you guys have been following me and you've been watching my videos, um, I promise it is going to get better. This energy is about to shift. We have a new moon in just a few days, and this new moon is very positive, especially when it comes to partnerships, relationships, and friendships too. So, um, yes, we can expect a lot of good energy coming in, you guys. And I did a write-up on that um, on my uh, YouTube page in the community section. So if you want to go check that out, it kind of goes into depth and more detail about what is going to be going on for that new moon. So, yeah, we're going to see what your person is thinking and everything today. Before I get started, I want to let you guys know that I do offer personal readings. I offer Akashic readings, general readings, um, love readings, of course, too, all kinds of different ones, even Starseed Origin, if you're interested or curious about that. Um, I offer monthly memberships that give you a discount on my readings, plus a free reading every single month. I have moon memberships that are attached to that, and that's when we get together as a community and discuss the energy of the new and full moon. And in my top tier, you also get access to my Akashic Awakening workbook, and that is for free. And I've been working on a lot of other content too. Um, we are going to start exploring the chakras and we're going to be looking at the root chakra first. I've been doing a very deep dive into the root chakra. And let me tell you guys, it is so interesting and it has been so relevant for my own personal life. Um, I'm very, very excited about sharing that with you guys. So if you're interested in any of that content um, with connecting with me more or getting a reading, anything like that, yeah, go check out my description box below. It has all those links, those goodies. But let's get back into your reading. If you are new here, welcome. I've had a lot of new um, faces, new subscribers. <laughs> I said faces. I haven't seen your faces, I know. But not a lot of new friends who have joined the community. So welcome. If you are not a part of the community, then please hit subscribe, notify, like. It helps my little channel grow. So let's see. All right, universe, what messages are coming through for my dear friends? What do they need to know about the person that is on their mind right now? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? What can we expect? I hope everybody is doing well today. Give these a good shuffle. what's coming oh I'm sorry guys I think I just shook the camera all right so we have the queen of cups so we're seeing a lot of emotions coming through at this time and and said real we are in um, Scorpio season and it's actually a Scorpio new moon I know in tropical uh, we are going into Sagittarius but even so we are still experiencing you know um, this very emotional time you guys have probably been feeling it it's a lot of chaotic energy that is going on. Uh, we also have the Princess of Pentacles here, which is like the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Swords. So someone's very much in their head and in their feelings here. The good news is I feel like they are growing out of it. You know, we have this um, energy here where it's like they're trying to put their foot down. They're trying to find their ground. They're trying to find stability. Your person is trying to figure out, you know, their direction, but they're right now very much consumed with their emotions and their feelings, and they don't really know how to navigate this. Now, if you're working with somebody that um, identifies more with a divine masculine, and you guys, it, it has nothing to do with gender at all. Um, it really is just an energy. And so a divine masculine would be somebody that would be more active, more energetic, um, you know, maybe athletic, uh, more assertive, different things like that. More, um, I don't want to say controlling because that's a more negative aspect, but it is um, controlling and in charge, authoritative kind of thing. But yes, the divine masculine energy has been going through a huge transition. And it's because they're tapping into their emotions to learn how to balance themselves out. So I feel like 
uh, a lot of people are dealing with this. We're all dealing with this personally within ourselves. So this is what's going on currently. We're trying to figure out how to connect our emotions, um, how to ground our emotions with our thoughts too, and make it all make sense. So let's see what else is coming through. We have the three of pentacles. So this shows me that we are coming to a time that this person is going to want to work things out with you. They want to work together with you. But I almost feel like they need a little, a little help, a little support. I feel like someone is coming through that is actually going to encourage your person. And this could be the page of pentacles here. I just felt that. Okay. So the message is there's a person here and it's unexpected, but this person is grounding the person you're thinking of into wanting to cooperate more with you into wanting to connect back with you. So they're having trouble, like I said, um, identifying with their own emotions. Sorry, my desk is slick. So these things just like fly all around. So yeah, they're having a hard time doing that. And it's almost like the universe is bringing this person in, in order to reground them, to show them like, okay, you know, let, let's lay it all out. Let's look at, at all this logically. Let's look at all this from a practical point of view here. And they're helping them get their thoughts together at this time. So some of you may be thinking, this person feels like, um, maybe you think that they're together with this person or something along those lines. But this person is actually there helping you, rooting you on at this time. So it may look a little strange, but from the outside looking in, but this person is actually helping you and helping this person kind of um, figure out their own thoughts. Now we also have the Queen of Swords, which shows me that logic is coming through. This person is going to find clarity here. Um, this person is going to also want to communicate very soon too. Let's see what else is coming through. Let me see what I'm picking up. Like I said, there's been a lot of chaotic energy, you guys. There's a lot of transformation going on. And really, it is about being patient at this time. Um, this person is going to reach out to you, but I feel like you guys need to kind of surrender that to the universe because it is working in your favor. I feel that deeply because I feel like this person has been placed in their life on purpose to show them what they truly want and desire in their life. Now we have the Ace of Cups, which is a beautiful card, you guys. This is all about, you know, renewing love, friendship, joy. Um, this is about really, this is a very happy card. But for you guys, I feel like this person is finally figuring out where, you know, their emotions are, what they want to do with their emotions. So it's like, here we start at the Ace, at number one. And we are going to begin to, um, you know, understand our own emotions and how to express them here. And that's what I feel like your person has been going through. Let's see what else is coming through, you guys. Oh, that one flew out. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. Look at all this grounding and earth energy that is coming through. So after this very flighty, almost like chaotic time, emotional time here. We're finally finding stability. Your person is finding stability. For some of you, this person's coming home and feeling comfortable. For I feel like maybe this person wasn't comfortable with you. Um, and this was because they had to work things out within themselves. There is something within you that triggered them to heal. So not that, you know, you're a bad person or that you did anything wrong. I'm not saying that. But there was something in you that triggered them to heal this part of themselves. And once they figure that out, which that's what's going on, they're going to love you so much more for it and feel so comfortable with you. I feel like for some of you, maybe this person didn't really talk that much uh, or didn't share their emotions all the time. And um, once this comes through here, this energy comes through, I feel like they're going to feel very comfortable talking to you. Um, they're going to understand, you know, that you have helped them actually heal, that something within you has, like I said, triggered them to become a better person. We also have justice here. Justice is, you know, is connected to the seventh house of Libra. So that's partnership relationships and stuff like that. I feel like that all of this is coming through in order to bring you back together in a union and a partnership. And, um, and for some of you, I don't know why I feel like you guys maybe will end up working together there's something about your energy here and seeing the pentacles and um you know the justice card here too i feel like somehow you guys work really well together and that could even be through just in a partnership in a you know loving relationship that you guys 
just have this stable, sturdy, um, yeah, companionship. And, and I feel like people would be coming to you going, okay, what did you do to fix this? How, you know, um, how did you turn this around? And you guys are so in love now, those sort of things. But there's something about this union that is going to be a partnership. It's going to be equal. So let's see what else is coming through, you guys. And Justice 2 talks about karma. So this is all very karmic stuff. And we are healing a lot of karma um, in this lifetime. <laughs> it's almost like it was placed on a lot of us to do um, in this lifetime. But, and it can be very, very heavy. Look, we have the Nine of Pentacles also. So you both were learning independence. You're learning how to be an independent person. They're learning how to be an independent person. You are too, in order to be able to come together and have that balanced partnership. Um, that way, no one is taking from someone else. You're able to actually give love to someone else. You know, if you've been in a relationship before where the person is uh, takes and takes and takes, emotionally drains you, then you get to where you can't give anymore. Um, a relationship needs balance. People have to be responsible for their own emotions and actions. And this is what is going on right now. We are learning how to be that better person, how to con you know, be a responsible, sovereign person in order to be in a relationship Relationship where true love can actually flourish. So the nine of pentacles, like I said, it really does show me that um, you guys are learning independence. And I do keep picking up this business energy. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments below um, if that resonates with you guys. But somehow I feel like this is a love and business partnership. And definitely for some of you too, all of this healing and energy that is going on, is bringing through more abundance for you. And this is health, uh, wealth, you know, all, all material aspects of life. You know, it's not just money all the time. You know, there's different ways that abundance comes through. Um, but we also have the Ace of Pentacles. So this shows me that this person is reaching out to you. So, and it's right over the Queen of Swords, which I felt was like, this is when the person is communicating with you. They are able to see logically how they feel at this point. They've gone through this whole progress and process <laughs> to where they've had to figure these things out, their emotions out, how they feel about you. And then boom, it hits them clarity. And once that happens, they are going to be physically reaching out to you. Um, for some of you, this is even like a gift and or a thank you or apology. This is a giving back to you is what I feel like in some way. Um, ooh, we have the emperor. So you're going to be establishing new strengths and um, foundations within this relationship too. And so this person may, well, they were definitely going through a time where they felt weak and probably weak-minded, but they are going to feel more in control of their lives. They're going to feel in control of themselves and of this relationship too. Um, I feel like once again, with their emotions and emotions can really just take us over. We can drown in them. They're water, you know, water energy. So um, they're going to feel more established when they come back. And that's a really good thing. And like I said, I, since this is a divine masculine energy, um, like I said, it has nothing to do with gender. But the emperor does relate to fire and um, masculine energy too. So it's like they're stepping into their own power, into their own energy here, finding balance. So let's see what else is coming through. Ooh, we have the Seven of Swords, which is a, a little bit heavier energy. So we might have some secrets coming out, which makes sense to me, honestly, because I feel like, like I said, this person didn't really like sharing their emotions before. Um, and so this person may be expressing to you some things that have happened in the past, some feelings that they had in the past that, you know, maybe you weren't aware of. Like I said, with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups, I feel like they're going to feel more stable and um, comfortable speaking to you. So, like I said, they're going to be open. They're going to be spilling the beans, as they say, um, talking about their secrets, the things that they, you know, maybe were ashamed of before. And this could be, you know, all sorts of things. This could be past stuff. Um, but I do feel like they're bringing out things um, from their past that they want to share with you. Ooh, that one fell. Hold on, you guys. Look at this. Okay, I can't make this up. Two of cups at the end of it all, okay? So knowing all this, you know, learning secrets about 
the person that you care about, establishing a new foundation, you guys becoming, you know, responsible and able to give and receive love in this balanced way. You guys are coming together with this soulmate type of energy. And that's really what I am feeling like, you guys. This is a soulmate. Um, this is somebody that you know, you guys are meant to be together. And a lot of times what happens initially is there's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of karma to deal with uh, in order to get to the good parts. You know, we have to heal all the stuff, all the broken stuff within us first before we can really truly start to enjoy. But I feel like, like I said, that is what is going on with you guys. And I really expect this to start to unfold over the next couple months. For many of you, this is going to be happening um, around the new moon towards the end of November. Uh, if you're experiencing a little bit slower energy, I would say give it a couple months. Because I think we're going to be in this more heavy energy maybe until the end of this year. But I do feel like, you know, as we move into 2023, this is going to get lighter and lighter for us. And we won't have to sit in all this heavy energy here. But this is really beautiful, you guys. Two of Cups, you guys are coming together here. Um, this person is reaching out and sharing their true feelings for you, how they truly feel. Um, and you guys are becoming closer and closer and overcoming all these obstacles that you guys have faced. And yeah, this is really beautiful energy, you guys. All right, my dear friends, I think that is all that I have for you guys today. I do hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you have a super blessed day. Thank you for watching.